Welcome to Chris Park in Shooting Sports. Well, the deal is done. This is going to be my air rifle for the next six months. It's an FX Crown Mark II in 2.2 and it's the 12 foot pound variant. And I've paired that with an Element Nexus rifle scope. This is the top of the range Element optic scope. And it's the one I haven't done the full review on yet because it was one I wanted to save the best, the most expensive to last. Because it's the one I'm going to use myself for my purposes and the longest of them all. I'm going to show you a few of the upgrades I've made to the FX Nothing major, but just a few little tweaks I've done to make it suit my preferences even better. So, why you may ask have I chosen the Nexus? Well, number one, it's the most expensive, it's got the best glass, it's hard to disagree with that. But most importantly for me, actually, is the way the turrets work. I like milliradians, it works beautifully and it's a first focal plane reticle, so wherever I am in the magnification region, I am exactly correct in reading off the reticle and dialing on here. As you will have seen from previous reviews, I've used both the Helix and the Titan scopes. I did like the Titan a lot actually, but I think this Nexus is going to be a little bit step up from that. It's a little bit more compact, perhaps more suitable to hunting, a little bit less bulky. I've got illumination on the left side, so I can adapt the reticle for whatever light conditions I'm shooting in. The parallax control gives me fine adjustment to make sure I'm not making any incorrect aiming errors at any distance I shoot at, because I'm probably going to run this out to about 50 meters. I like the throw lever on top, it gives me fast access to any magnification setting I want whether or not I'm using the scope as a standalone unit or with a night vision thing like the pad attached on the back of it. I also like the fact it has a sort of neoprene cover which I can pop over the top and it prevents it getting damaged because me being me I've got a lot of things going on in my armoury and I don't want to bump rifles and bump scopes because I don't want to damage them, simple as that. I think most users are probably the same, but the thing is I'm reliable for mine if I do bash them up. In terms of the rifles, this is the Crown Mark II as I've said. I've also used the Impact M3, the Impact M2, which is an FAC as well. I've also used the Renegade and the Dreamline. They all have benefits, they all have pros and cons, things that they favour, things that they favour the least. And this is the one that suits me the most, because my requirement for the air rifle is perhaps... 30% from the bench, 70% out hunting, squirrel shooting, things like that. As well as the fully shrouded FX barrel liner, I've got a Donny FL moderator on the front because that completely suppresses all noise the rifle makes in a hunting scenario. So, handling characteristics. I can set the recoil pad exactly where I want, vertically and laterally, to make it grip into my shoulder the best and give me an ideal head position on the windage adjustable cheek piece and that is what allows me to get fantastic alignment with the optic for the most consistency and precision in use. This is the big selling point for me on the Crown because I like to be able to shoot my hunting rifles mostly right-handed but I don't like to give up left-handed shots if they give me a better stable support to make the pellet hit where it needs to go. These are my chosen pellets because the JSB match in 15.89 grains have given me over 300 shots the most consistent performance on target from this rifle in terms of the energy consistency and point of impact consistency and the ability to read the trajectory, read the wind and compensate for it. I've also paired one of the pad thermal sights to this, the SA19 for rack control. I really liked using that, it suited me down to the ground perfectly. So I'm really, really happy to continue now with this rifle and give it the absolute thorough, in-depth thrashing that it deserves. Settings on the FXR, maximum on the macro power adjuster. And I'm running the medium setting at the front here because that seems to give me actually slightly more power and the most consistency. Other reason I like the crown, I've got a Picatinny rail so I've got no problem swapping backwards and forwards for different optics, night vision, thermal imaging or day scope, whichever. And I've got some worn quick release mounts on here which will do the job beautifully of swapping over with return to zero. Well please like, please subscribe and please comment because your comments are what drive me to make these videos. Don't forget to click the notification bell to keep up with all my regular reviews and updates on various rifles and optics I've been using throughout the year because I am out shooting six days a week on average something whether it be an air rifle, a rimfire or a centrefire, whether it be hunting distances or longer range. Thanks for watching, bye for now.